So after so many years of working with patients on with psoriasis and other health issues, I mean, digestive problems, headaches, back pain, neck pain, um, you name the, the health issue, I've worked with patients on it and helped people with it, but it just, I continue to get reminded that nobody fits into a box, okay? And so what I mean by that is that I can't just take someone with psoriasis and say, here's the game plan that I give everybody and you use it and it's gonna work for you. And the reason I'm saying that is because I just got reminded again by that when I read a, uh, um, a comment from a, uh, somebody, on, somebody here on this channel here, and I appreciate you guys leaving comments. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, definitely do that. Um, it'll tell you, tell you when we're putting new information out. And it, when you leave comments, I do my best to get through those. I've been a little bit behind on it lately, but um, I try to get with, uh, back to those as soon as possible. Uh, it just encourages me to see you guys asking questions and help. And obviously there's the weird ones out there that I, they are what they are. But for most of you, you're really intrigued. You really want to see something happen with your health. And so this comment really made me, um, reminded me that it's not just the same for everybody. And he said this, uh, this is Tom Hahn. He said, I, I or at Tom Hahn, 1030. Um, so thanks, thanks Tom for watching. But um, I switched to the carnivore a month ago, never had a problem with dry skin or psoriasis, but now I got it heavily. Any ideas? That's pretty cool. And I say that's pretty cool because it just, again, tells us it's not cool for him, obviously. I'm gonna give you why, why I think that is. Um, but, but then, uh, I lean, I mean, literally like a day ago, I got a comment from someone who said, somebody said the just opposite. They switched to the carnivore diet and all their psoriasis problems went away. I mean, complete opposites on the spectrum. And I've, we see that over and over again with the vegan diet. I see that with keto diet. I see that with all kinds of health changes that people have made that this worked for them, but it doesn't work for someone else. And so you can imagine how hard it is to shoot YouTube videos or videos uh, to try to teach people how to get rid of their psoriasis without working on with them one-on-one. -on -one. And that's why I'm, I am such a huge fan of individualizing things, getting to actually talk to someone across a Zoom call or face-to-face -face and teach them or help them figure out what it is for them. Because at the end of the day, it's how well your body Body is healing and functioning and if you're if you're having psoriasis or you're having autoimmune disease it's because your body is out of balance and your immune system is overactive why your body's out of balance the, the the reasoning behind that goes back to stress but what that stressor is for you could be a hundred different things and there's a lot to it so it's good to work individually but let me give you my feedback to that question so I'm gonna answer his question on on today's uh, video uh, and, and then we got I have four reasons I might come up with a fifth one, but four main reasons that pop in my head right off the bat as to why that might have happened. Number one, I think might be the obvious one, but number one is how did you do the, the um, carnivore diet? And the reason the carnivore diet can be very effective for a short period of time, meaning like three or four months, to reduce or get rid of psoriasis is because you're making a dietary change, you're getting foods out that you might not have responded to very well, and you're really minimizing what you're eating. And so it gives your body a chance many times to do a lot better that way. So when you take certain foods out, a lot of times your body just will um, ultimately get back into balance. It's taking the stressors off. And again, when I talk about nutrition to you guys, I always talk about, hey, you wanna reduce stress on your body and you wanna get the nutrients and minerals that you need, okay? Most people's diets stress their bodies out and give very little nutrients and minerals. A good healthy diet is, someone, is something for you that doesn't stress your body and gives you the nutrients and minerals you need. And so, that's the same thing. Carnivore diet, you might have plenty of nutrients and minerals in that in that meat, but it's not. Um, it's still stressing that person, and, and that's that's getting it. And so the number one thing, number one, first thing that comes to my mind is the type of meat that they're eating. Is it healthy meat? Is it conventional meat raised from a cow that was not raised very properly, was not fed very properly, was injected with hormones, was injected with antibiotics, fed grains, and that there's still a lot of gluten within that meat, or was it? A cow that was or an animal that was raised properly meaning how god intended it to be raised and what i mean by that is it was fed what it should eat you know a cow should be out grazing on grass grazing on tree or leaves and things like that and same with chickens they should be out roaming eating bugs things like that and not injected with hormones not injected with antibiotics and allowed to roam and move and so um, if it's a healthy animal what i've typically seen with carnivore diet people that haven't gotten results is the type of diet, the type of meat they're eating is off, meaning you want to be healthy, quality meat. So that's number one, and that that might be not be the case with um, with you, Tom. And I'm I'm just 
These are my ideas of why it might not have worked. If you ate good healthy meat, my second reason idea of why it probably didn't work is because your digestive your system digestive system is so out of alignment that it's not you don't have the good bacteria and the enzymes are producing those enzymes properly or the bile that your gallbladder has to produce properly for you to digest that food. Okay, and so you, and so let's start with the GI tract issue number one that could probably be there. Number one is stomach acid. If you don't have the right acidity in your stomach, you're not going to break down the meat very well, the protein very well, and it's going to be really hard on your GI tract. So even if it's good quality meat, <clears throat> excuse me. Number two, uh, within that same thing, if you don't have, if you have the right stomach acid, but you're stressed while you're eating, meaning you're always on the move, that meat's not going to digest very well either. It's going to sit there because your body's not in a digestive mode. So a tip would be if you're going to follow an eating plan, also make sure you're eating slowly, taking your time to eating so you can see if that food's actually going to help. And then the next thing on the digestive thing is, um, or I guess I'd say my third reasoning would go back to part of the GI tract as well, but the gallbladder. And, and that if you have a sluggish gallbladder or no gallbladder, well, you're not gonna break down fat very well, okay? And, that, and within that fat is your vitamin D, your vitamin A, your vitamin K. These are fat soluble vitamins that um, really need to be broken down by the breakdown of fat from bile from your gallbladder. So if your gallbladder is sluggish, eating a lot of meat can actually be very stressful on your body. The final thing I was gonna say is that you could be allergic, right? There could be a type of meat that you're eating that you're allergic to. I've known people that are allergic to chicken, uh, people that are allergic to beef, veal, um, um, uh, venison. And so that could be a possibility as well. It's less likely, less often that happens, but those could be the four reasons why it didn't work for you. And then the other reason is, is maybe your body was just so depleted in the antioxidants, nutrients, and minerals um, that that's where it led to for you. Okay, so those are just some, that's my brainstorming answers for you. I don't know why, but those are the reasons I think it could have happened. So if you tried the carnivore diet, it didn't work for you. I'm not saying uh, that is for everybody, but I do think it can be very effective in the beginning. It's not the number one thing I tell people to do, but I have seen plenty of people do the carnivore diet and within a few months, their psoriasis diminish and sometimes even go away. Okay, so that's it there guys so hey um share that with people a lot of people get on this carnivore kick and they think it's the answer to everything because it helped one person there's a lot of people with autoimmune diseases talking on youtube or talking on on the internet about how the carnivore diet saved their life i don't doubt them i, I probably probably did um, that doesn't mean it's what you should do okay and so you got to investigate you got to listen to your body and go in the right direction there Cool. All right. Hey guys, make sure you again, like this channel, subscribe so we can get the videos out to you. And um, yeah, we'll talk to you next time.